Hi guys, welcome to the Harrison Cameras YouTube channel. And today we've, we're here with the Fujifilm X-H2. So you may be getting a sense of deja vu and no, you haven't loaded the wrong video. In our last video, we looked at the X-H2S and the X-H2 is pretty much the same camera on the outside. It's got the same grip, same button and dial configurations. It's got the same screen LCD on the back, electronic viewfinder, but, and there is a big but. What's inside? is different. So whereas in the X-H2S you had the, the uh, 26 megapixel CMOS APS-C sensor, uh, the same as what you, you, you were seeing in other Fujifilm cameras, in this one you've got a brand new backside illuminated 40 megapixel APS-C size sensor. Another interesting feature of this camera is the pixel shift and multi-shot function. So what that basically means is that the camera will take 20 shots, moving the sensor 0.5 pixels each, each time. Um, what this in, essentially does is creates a 160 megapixel image um, by merging those 20 shots together. How well it works in practice? I'm not too sure. Uh, I think with moving subjects or anything moving in the frame you're going to end up with weird artifacts if however you're shooting a, a product or something like that in a studio or maybe some architectural um, imagery that you know without many moving without any moving parts um, you're going to really capture some high resolution images When this camera launches in uh, the end of September, it's um, it's going to be sort of roughly around just under nineteen hundred pounds, which uh, it is quite competitive when you consider that uh, you know an XT4, if you can get hold of one, is is sort of about just under sixteen hundred pounds. Um, obviously, you've got that higher higher res sensor. Um, it's uh, you know top top of the range features and functions um, I think it's uh, it's incredibly good value um, especially considering that the X-H2S is quite a bit more expensive at the moment yeah out of the two this is the one I would go for definitely I think it's just a little bit more versatile and with that 40 megapixel sensor uh, and 8k recording it's you know it's, it's future proof in in some respects um, so yeah go for that XH2 and uh, I'll see you on the next video.